in this video we are going to look at how to add regions as well as split corridors so usually if you are adding regions or splitting corridors we need uh, two at least two assemblies because currently only we have one assembly i will create another assembly uh, for this target so to do that to create a new assembly i go to home tab go to assemblies go to create assembly and my assembly name would be assembly 2 and i will i will use the default parameters to other options and i click ok and i will click somewhere here to paste my assembly so i will have the similar kind of assembly but with a uh, different width parameter for this section and this section so before changing the width i will copy this assembly to here so to do that i will select this right part like this crossing window i have to cross have a crossing window like this then i select copy from here and i will select somewhere here so it will automatically copy the parameters then i will press escape and go to the right side and do the same go to the left side and do the same right so i told i told you i want to change these two parameters these two with parameters so i will select these two and right click and go to properties currently my width is 2.4 meters i want to change it to 3 meters so i will select this as 3 meters so it will automatically change both sides into 3 meters currently you can see this offset is minus 3.6 now it is uh, minus 6.6 .6, that means 3 meters and this side as well it will have 3 meters now i am going to my corridor here so first i will add a region from here from this stop point, this stop point to up to the end so to do that i will select my corridor and go to corridor properties from here and i will select this baseline from here now right click then i will insert a region after because i have i already have a region before this region so already have a region here it start from zero and come to hundred now i will add the region after that that means after 100 so i go to insert region after and i will select the same assembly for this demonstration so i will select my assembly one and when you are adding an assembly when once you add the assembly you need to check the targets so currently we have the uh, surface targets i go here targets and i set this target surface as eg so this has set to eg that is how it will catch the cut and fill situations and i click ok and it will go from 100 to 1521.51 then i click ok and i rebuild the corridor you can see how my corridor is created from start to end now in my profile here you can see this is my existing ground this is my profile so from somewhere here to somewhere here we have a cut section in the profile so we will add the assembly we created later with the three meter with shoulder to this area so this area is from 880 to for here it is 1040 so i will add I will change the assembly in this cut area from 808 to 1000 and 1040. Uh, I will do that by splitting the corridor. To split the corridor, I will select this corridor, go to corridor properties, and I will select this second region which is going from 100 up to the end. Right click and go to split region split region then you have to select the region 
so you can manually select or otherwise if, if otherwise if you know the changes you can type the changes so i type uh, 880 first station and then second station 1040 i type it and once i completed the regions i will click ok again so it will automatically uh, select these regions 880 to 1040 and other two regions so this this region i will change the assembly to uh, assembly 2 then after changing the assembly i need to check whether my surface targets are okay uh, usually if you are going to split a corridor uh, the targets will retain but we have to make sure that the targets are correct so i will click here to check the targets you can see my targets are okay then i click ok here now we have two types of assemblies assembly one and assembly two uh, two is the assembly two is from here to here and i click ok and rebuild my corridor so you can here see uh, we will have a small uh, increase in the width in the uh, assembly two region actually sometimes we may not notice that fully so we will check the width here this was 2.4 and we will check it somewhere here this is roughly we are checking not so you can see it is 3 meters so even though it is not uh, seen very clearly but it was added to the uh, corridor so that is how to add regions and splitting the corridors. In this we are going to learn more Civil 3D work with Civil 3D corridor regions. So first I will select my corridor here. You can see I have, once I selected you can see I have a small part of the corridor here and we have a gap here and we have some other regions in my corridor so first i will show how to copy a region that means i will copy this region into this region without creating a new region here so to do that i select my corridor in the contextual ribbon tab in the modify region panel i click this copy region option and it is asking whether what region to copy so i will select this region and it will copy the details from that region then it is asking on the command line the stations where the other region to be inserted so i will select this station and come up to this station and click here and you can see it will automatically complete the corridor region with the same targets and details in this region so i press escape now so let us say i want to delete this region so you can one thing you can do is you can do undo because we created that region just now but another way to delete this region is while selecting the corridor you go to here here and select this delete regions and you can delete this one once you click here it will be deleted again using the copy region we can uh, fill in a region rather than selecting the corridor regions so i can select this copy region and i will select here to copy and instead of selecting the region from the stations what i do is i will click fill here otherwise you can click otherwise you can press f on your keyboard i select fill and i will select this area and it will automatically fill the corridor with the targets and data with the uh, previous region so that is how to use the copy region option in civil 3d so i press escape now then let us say uh, we have few more regions here you can see the split points here so i will this time use this merge regions options once you merge regions what happen here is it will join the two regions and it the region that comes first will take the uh, targets and all the 
things in that region to the other part so i go here click merge regions and it is asking the region to select to merge so let us say i am going to merge this region and this region so first i select this one in the command line it will still ask him to select another region i will select this region uh, if you want to add more regions you can still add but i am not going to add more regions so i have i can end, press enter or right click then it will merge the two regions now you can see the split point is not here because the regions are now merged right so there's another option in uh, civil 3d when we are merging that is merging with the gap so to get a gap here i will delete this region I click here and i will delete this region now let us say i am selecting this region and going to merge this one so i select this one and i click this region now here i don't have any region but i have a region here i will select this one then i am going to press enter so when i am pressing enter what happens here is this region will be automatically filled with these details so i press enter now you can see now this region is filled and also it is merged into the other region so that is how to use the uh, merge option in civil 3d corridors apart from that we have few more options here if you want to isolate any region first you need to select that region select the corridor from that region so if you select this side so it will isolate this part once you click isolate so what happens is it will isolate the selected part you can see this part is now isolated so if you want to unisolate all parts or if you want to show all the regions you have to select that corridor and go to show all regions like here so if you want to hide some part of the corridor you can use hide regions and select the region to hide so select the region to hide so it will be hidden and the other part will be retained on the screen so if you want to get them back you can select show all regions and finally one more thing in corridor regions that is region properties that is region properties so you go to select region properties and you can select any of the corridor regions then it will give you the properties of that region corridor name and start ending station of that region region name still you can uh, rename that thing then you can change the assembly from here you can change the frequency from here and the best option is you can change the target from here and this is civil 3d 2023 version here so if you have already know civil 3d 2023 means they have or it has a newer civil 3d target mapping window but if you go to the target options from here you will get a you will get the old target mapping window here so you can set the target mapping with the old way so if you are a fan of uh, civil 3d targets with the old target mapping window this is a good place to access when you are setting the target so you can set the targets from here if you want to and that is about the corridor region properties